What's up geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today I don't know how to feel about this. Uh, this is big news right here. This is massive news, but I'm gonna tell you what my theory is behind this. I certainly am gonna tell you that because there is more to this than just this simple announcement. Kevin Feige developing Star Wars movie for Disney. Now, look at the timing of this announcement. Just like a day or two after Bob Iger dropped this PR nightmare on the company with the George Lucas stuff. And all of a sudden, we get the, the big-time announcement of Kevin Feige working on a Star Wars movie. This is a strategic announcement. I'm not saying that the announcement wasn't planned to happen. I'm just saying that they moved it up when they started to see the big problem with what Bob Iger created with its stupid, stupid comments uh, about the betrayal of George Lucas. So this is a strategic announcement, and they moved this up to kind of calm the storm that Bob Iger created. No doubt in my mind about that. Marvel's cinematic, or uh, Marvel mastermind, Kevin Feige is adding Star Wars to his resume. According to Holly, The Hollywood Reporter, Feige is working on a new Star Wars movie with Lucasfilm boss Kathleen Kennedy. The Hollywood Reporter quotes, Disney Studios chairman Alan Horn saying, We are excited about the projects Kathy and the Lucasfilm team are working on, not only in terms of Star Wars, but also Indiana Jones and reaching into other parts of the company, including Children of the Blood, uh, Bone with Emma Watson, and Fox. Um... With the close of the Skywalker Saga, I'm so tired of them saying this is the close of the Skywalker Saga. I'm so tired of hearing that. Kathy is pursuing a new era in Star Wars storytelling, and knowing what a diehard fan Kevin is, it made sense for these two extraordinary producers to work on a Star Wars film together. I got a lot to say, but let's read on. There are no specific details about the kind of Star Wars movie Feige might be developing at this point, but even the Skywalker Saga, uh, even with the Skywalker Saga set to conclude with the re release of Episode Nine, the Sky Rise of Skywalker this December, the franchise's future is already crowded with upcoming projects. Uh, Game of Thrones show. All right, so you're just repeating everything that's coming up. Um, Feige has overseen the meteoric rise of the Marvel Cinematic Universe over the past decade. The franchise has racked up to $22 billion at the global box office. Um, as THR uh, notes, the four Star Wars films released since Disney bought Lucasfilm have also been huge performers around the world, racking up almost $4.5 billion, but the franchises have had its fair share of behind-the-scenes turmoil, especially with directors. Phil Lord and Chris Miller were reportedly fired from Solo in the midst of production, leading Kennedy to hire Ron Howard to finish the job. Jurassic World helmet Colin Trevorrow was dropped from directing The Rise of Skywalker back in 2017, being replaced by The Force Awakens' J.J. Abrams. Tony Gilroy was brought on to help finish Gareth, Ed Gareth Edwards' Rogue One, and Josh Trank exited the untitled Star Wars standalone project a month after being notably absent from Star Wars Celebration, uh, where he was expected to take the stage with Kathleen Kennedy and Gareth Edwards. Uh, so, she's a terrible leader, as I've said many times. Um... Feige says, so they're just repeating everything Feige's got going on with Disney Plus and all of these things with Marvel. Um, so that's going to wrap that up. Okay, so again, this is a strategic announcement because Bob Iger created a PR nightmare for the company. And I don't know what he was thinking with that. Now, again, I'm not saying that this wasn't in the works. Clearly, it has been. I'm not saying that you just woke up and say, hey, announce Kathleen Kennedy and Kevin Feige are together. It's clearly been something they're planning. But this announcement happened today so they could go, my God, guys, can we please? This You have created a nightmare, Bob. What is wrong with you? I'm sure the board of directors were just like, what is wrong with you? What can we do? What can we do to to kind of calm the waters? Well, we've got that, that Kennedy Feige announcement we were going to think uh, of making in a couple of months or whatever. Oh, no, let's go ahead and get that finalized. Let's get everything done so we can make this announcement. That's what I think happened. Now. Here's what my speculation is with the announcement as we are hearing it. My speculation, again, speculation. I don't have sources on this. I am simply speculating SJWs. I know, I know that's a scary thought. You're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to think for yourself. You're not supposed to have opinions outside of the narrative. Well, I do. Now, this is my speculation. My speculation is... That this is that that they are positioning Kevin Feige to take over for Lucasfilm at some point. That's what I feel is happening, and I think that he might already be taking it over. And they're just making it seem like that there's this thing where they're going to work together. And then after the rise of Skywalker, Kathleen Kennedy's going to retire. Yada yada yada. Again, speculation. I could be wrong, and if I'm wrong, I'll admit I'm wrong. But I look at this and I go, 
there's something more to this than just, hey, Kevin, come work on a Star Wars movie with me. It, there's a lot more to this than just that. A lot more. So we're going to continue to watch it and monitor it, but at the end of the day, Kathleen Kennedy has Lucasfilm and Star Wars in a complete nightmare. It's a disaster. Bob Iger didn't help that yesterday at all. Um, and it's just going to continue to spiral out of control. It, yeah, Kevin Feige is a mastermind. Kevin Feige has done an incredible job with the MCU. Uh, I don't want to see Kevin Feige running Lucasfilm, though. I don't want to see... Uh, again, I'm not a Marvel hater, uh, but I did have some problems with the MCU, and at no point did the films ever feel like they had real stakes. And I need to see a Star Wars movie with stakes. I don't need us to have five, six Star Wars movies that lead us to one with stakes. You know, I, I don't need five or six Star Wars movies that are all only existing to set us up for the big movie and five movies. I don't need all that. Um, but I respect Kevin Feige. I think he is definitely a mastermind as he's worded here. And um, I believe that, again, I just think that they're they're trying to position him to, to take over for her. Uh, maybe that announcement happens after the rise of Skywalker. And maybe it never happens. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. Other than that, I don't know. What do you guys think about this? I, I, again, this is hard to, this is a lot to take in, especially with what we've had in the last few days of Bob Iger and everything. It's just, it's crazy. This is a crazy timing for this announcement, and it's such a mega story. And this is definitely going to get people off of Iger's story a little bit, but it won't, it won't make us forget. We're going to continue to remind you and everyone else that you betrayed George Lucas. And we're not going to forget it. We're not going to move on from it. We're not going to treat this like a 24-hour news cycle. We are not going to stop because you betrayed George Lucas. You lied to George Lucas and you ruined Star Wars. So it's a nice try, but it ain't going to work, Bobby. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Have a great day, and we will talk to you later. Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from GeeksAndGamers.com, and if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.